G'day, this is Simon from the Brackets here back at South OC Cars and Coffee, and I'm with Jim, who has our car of the week this week. What is it, Jim? It's a 1975 Mirage. Uh, this thing is so amazing. I'm surprised you're allowed to drive it on the street. It's very cool. I've seen it here quite a few times and at previous Cars and Coffee. I'm so glad we got the chance to grab you. Let's swing the camera around and take so a look. So, Jim, tell me about the car. What's its history? Was it built for track work? Everything you can tell me about it. Okay, this car was built, uh, was owned by Manta in Santa Ana. Right. And this was their personal track car. Okay. Uh, they tracked it. I, I bought it in 2003. Okay. From their factory attorney. Uh, and then it's had some modifications, three major modifications over the last so many years. So running a small block chef with a, uh, a fuel injection system on there, which is just beautiful. Um, have you ever run it on a dyno to see what sort of power it's making? It's, it's uh, putting out 820 horse on the street. On the street, so 820 at the wheels? No, no, at, the, at the engine, at the crank. At the crank, okay. At the which, wheels, it's putting out 725. 725, which is a lot of power. So obviously it's running a, a transaxle in here. Whose transaxle were they it's using? ZF. ZF. Okay, yeah, really, really nicely done. I mean, the thing is in such beautiful condition. Um, of, I mean, look how close those two seats are together. You really want to like your passenger a whole lot, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, but I think what's kind of cool too is you notice where the shifter is. Just like on the Ford GTs that we GT40s that we've seen here, even the ones at the future 40s, the guy from Hill, guys from Hillbanker building, their right hand drive and the shifter is next to them on the right hand side. The same too with this. This is left hand drive, but the shifter is next to you on the left hand left hand side, which is the way they do that on race cars. So let's just come around and have a look at it. A bit of carbon fibre on the, that rear uh, wing. Is that original? Or did you change that? I put that on. Yeah, I was going to say for this age. Um, I mean, just such an amazing. Car. Do you ever get pulled over by the police and they're wondering what the heck it is? Uh, not for that. Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that pause there. Serious uh, co competition rubber on the thing, front and back. Now, have you taken it to the track, Jim? Yes. Please. You have? Yes. And how does it? How did it perform? Are you happy with the way it... Yes. Yeah. Excellent. I was at the track a month and a half ago. As, at the track a month and a half ago. So what modifications have you done since you've owned it? Basically, I've gone through the whole car. Right. Uh, made the suspension more adjustable. Um, lowered the engine and trans two inches. Uh, changed out all the half shafts to three, 304 M. Right. Um, pretty much everything's been gone through at least once. Yeah, that's very cool. I love the fact that you actually have areas over here where you've got your fire button, you pull out, and obviously your fire extinguisher system goes off, your kill switch in there. It is a real race car. It's not a half a race car. It is a real race car. I'm going to pull back and get a wide shot of it because uh, it's, you know, really is amazing. So, Jim, as our winner of uh, Car of the Week, you get yourself a Meguiar's uh, care pack. Uh, it contains a polishing sponge, a cleaner wax, a glass cleaner, tyre shine, all of these great stuff that's going to help keep this car looking as amazing as it is. Our, our Car of the Week this week. What is it, Jim? It's a 75 Mirage. 75 Mirage. Isn't that amazing? Thank you so much for bringing it out.